Rev up your engines! It's time for Scotty Kilmer Duncan. If your car's check engine light is staying on, then stay tuned, because today I'm going to tell you what it means when your check engine light stays on. Now, it doesn't matter exactly what the light says. Some will say check engine with a picture of the engine. Some will have a picture of the engine. And some will just say service engine soon. No matter what the exact wording, they all mean the same thing. The computer in your car has found a problem. When you start your car, the computer analyzes if there's any problems in it. And if it finds a problem, it turns the check engine light to warn you about that problem. But how do you know what it means? Well, to figure that out, you need a scan tool to plug into the car to see what the code is. But don't freak out about that because you can get some pretty cheap code readers. This is a good one that costs about 130 bucks, but you can get them as cheap as $40. Then just get a flashlight and find the interface plug that goes under the dash. This Toyota, if we look around, there it is, right under the dash. We'll just plug the code reader right in here. Then we just put in the ignition key and turn it to the on position, and then check vehicle diagnosis. And then click on read codes. In this case, it says P0114, intake air temperature circuit problem. Now, in this case, it was pretty easy. Somebody just changed the air filter, and they left the sensor wire off. So I'll just plug it back in. Now, as you can see from this trouble code book, hey, there are literally thousands of different codes that can be on the computer. So you can't just guess. You need to hook up a scan tool to see what the exact code is. But in case the light comes on while you're driving down the road and you don't have a scan tool, Here's a tip. If the light just comes on and doesn't flash, generally you can keep driving the car and no damage will be done. But if the light flashes on and off while you're driving, that's different. That means that you have a pretty serious problem. You need to have it looked at right away. And of course, if you have problems figuring out what the trouble code number means, hey, there's always Google. You can look it up on the internet. Or you can go to my website, scottykilmer.com, and ask me. Just visit my answer forum, because I'm here to help. And remember, if you've got any car questions, just visit scottykilmer.com.